I've been traveling with a small dog for the last couple of months and people have been asking me how has been my experience. So in this video, I'm gonna explain you how. The first thing that you gotta know is that well, Silver is no longer with us. He has some heart problems and he just couldn't make it. I already made a tribute video. You can see the link somewhere over there. But I also print a picture of him. If you wanna see that, just stay at the end of the video for that. But let's talk about especially small breed of dogs because if you're talking about big ones, it's a whole different concept. If you go uh, through the airplane, you gotta take them through the cargo and the big cages. It's a whole different thing that I can't tell you that much. So especially just small breeds like a Chihuahua, Yorkshire, Toy Poodle, Maltese. And I'm gonna talk mostly about flying because if you do a road trip, it's a whole different thing. You can take big dogs for that thing and also depends where you're going. If you're going around the States, like it's gonna be more flexible. So the question that a lot of people ask, is it worth to travel with a dog? Personally, I will say yes, but it's a whole different way of traveling. It's gonna be more expensive because there's like some hidden fees or like some dog fix that you gotta think about once you travel. Also more like thinking that you have a kid, you know, like you gotta think where's it gonna eat, like where's it gonna stay, and uh, yeah, like it's not about traveling you alone, it's now like you and your dog. And you're gonna be a little bit restricted on where you're going to eat, where you're going to stay, because not every place is a dog. But at the end, I'm telling you, like being with your dog and moving around and walking with them, it's, it's the best thing ever. So to start, we're gonna divide it in three parts. The very first thing is prepping and ask yourself, where are you going? Like think about the country or state that you wanna go because things change, so you gotta go online and check the forums, experiences of people, like check everything that you need to know the country that you wanna go because some places they don't accept dogs, so fortunately you will have to take that uh, out of your list. And then you gotta check all the papers that you gotta take with your dog. This is what I used to travel with Silver. And this is just a health certificate from the vet telling that uh, my dog is safe to travel. This is one that uh, they did it in the Mexican airport, just like the, the animal apartment of Mexico, they just checked the dog, my dog was okay. And this one is what most people call the dog passport, but it has like everything about him, where was he born, and some of the vaccines, because yes, you gotta take some shots to him, like rabbit stuff, like basic things. Always check the country that you're going because some uh, require some kind of shot, so always check that and have your dog passport along with you. Also, I will suggest you to get a dog insurance. It depends where you're from, but it's really, really recommended, especially the experience that I got for the last couple of days with Silver. I had to pay a lot of fees for pets. If you're from Mexico, I have a discount there from VVA Vancomer. And if you're in the States, I'll put all of some links there that you might check. Lastly, well, you have to have uh, all your gear for traveling, which we're gonna talk about in a bit. The second step is flying. So now you know which country you're going, right? Well, the good news is that you're gonna be able to travel with your dog, like taking in the airplane and it's gonna go like under the seat. But the bad news is that it's gonna be a fee. Most of the airlines, they charge like around 100, $150 just for your dog. So take that in account. There's a thing about service dogs that I would not recommend to do anything like that. And also like the laws has changed, so they're not letting service dogs. So just don't do that. And by traveling with a dog, it's a whole difference through the airport because you gotta go to the counter, you gotta do the whole line. So you just go a few hours before because they need to check that the dog is healthy, they have all those papers, so take that in account. And an interesting thing is that once you go to a security check, uh, you gotta take your dog out, like, you take your shoes, your belt, whatever, but you, you carry your dog and you go through a security check with them. So it's very, just an interesting, fun fact. After the security check, if your dog is in your career, it's gonna be fine. Like maybe yours is a little bit noisy, it's gonna start barking, so you just gotta try to stop them. Mine was like the quietest dog ever. Also, in some of the airports, I remember in New York, they had this dog bathroom, so you can just take them, they can pee and poop, and it's very interesting to know that. So just check wherever you go if they have these options. So once you're inside the plane, one thing that I would recommend is to, you know the peanuts that they give you, like snacks? Just try to give them that or you just bring your own snack because dogs as humans they have this ear pressure thing and they might not tell you but they also suffer with that so just give them some peanuts and they will help them like chew because chewing helps with the air pressure so take that in account so the travel dog career that you have has to be small enough that it can go under the seat like it always has to be there ideally you, you shouldn't take it out of that uh, bag but sometimes uh, like in the middle of the plane you could just uh, put it on your lap and see how it, how, how it is and just take it back on the, on the seat. 
also in some of the airports they ask you to go to a special area where there's a vet and they just check that the dog is healthy so always be sure to have your, all your papers before you go through customs instead of getting a bus or metro to wherever you're going we we'll suggest to get a taxi because it's gonna be you and your dog only also it's gonna be more expensive but it's worth it because now uh, he won't get nervous and he's gonna be excited for the next place you're going so the third thing is staying and you gotta think about your accommodation if you're going to a hotel I would recommend Selena because they're dog friendly like they have so many places around the world but there's like a small extra fee for that but if you want to book with them I have a discount actually just type sir like line GIO whenever you book in Selena you get like 15% discount so it's totally recommended I've been staying in a few of them and I really like that you can walk around the whole hotel with your dog it's it's a pretty cool idea but if you're searching for an Airbnb there's this filter that you can check if it's dog friendly and that's gonna be easier to filter and find the place that you want and if there's a place that you like and it doesn't say dog friendly just write and contact the host like show the picture say like the size and how friendly your dog is and maybe they're gonna accept it I've done it a few times and they accepted it and I've been staying in really cool place and some people have been asking me how do I deal when I want to go somewhere that they don't accept dogs well there's this thing called the dog hotel most of the places they have that so you can leave your dog for a few days something like that they take care of them you can do like a weekend travel and then come back and your dog is there now for coffee shops and restaurants like it also depends where you're going like there's some small towns in Mexico let's say that they're very very dog friendly so just ask before like uh, go online and do your research so some like they're very uh, happy to announce they're dog friendly but it's always good to like do a small research before you go there and lastly find places to walk with them right like understand where you're staying find these parks find these areas and well most of the places around the world right now we're going to talk about all the gear that i will suggest you to get if you travel with a dog and everything i'm going to mention is going to be in the links on the description down below so this is the sherpa travel pet carrier it's like airline approved because of the size and it was just like very nice because it has this handle so you can carry your dog it also has this overhead uh, zipper so you can stick uh, the head out and also there's like this very big zipper for kind of like the Kind of like the entrance of his uh, own space and what I like about this thing is that it can also become the bed whenever you go just lay down on the floor and he will use it as a bed even though mine it was always love to be in the bed next to me but anyway here's the things that I have with him so the first thing is of course you gotta have a like collar with, uh, with ID it was here I got some my number my email if you get lost and then we have these collapsible blades like you see how flat they are you can just expand it and different colors because one was for water one is for food also like a small jacket because sometimes it get cold like especially in the airport and I just love the how it look with this thing and it also has this uh, thing that you can use it for the leash because here's the leash that I had this is very small because my dog was small but it was so handy and then I had this dog kit uh, with everything that I used to take with him so it's from C to Summit I would recommend that too and the things that I put here like something very important is the poop bag <laughs> wherever you go like if you start to poop always get these things next to you it also has these uh, things so you can just put it on your belt if you forget to take it so very nice and then I had this uh, gold top for the shampoo I mean you don't wash them all the time but it's good to have them and this very very small it's enough for maybe like two three months so and then this towel from Matador like you see how small it is so it's so practical for a dog especially the side that I have look at that it's a nano fiber very very small towel that I would recommend to get uh, even for you or for a dog and the dog spray like for uh, if it goes pee somewhere that you don't want to you just have it there and just get some uh, towels to clean it up another thing that I have which I never use is this dog sling and it's just like easy way to just have your dog on under your chest or something and when you're doing some hiking would have loved to use it that but I couldn't and another thing that I like about this career is that I can become packable just take these sticks out and then just push everything down and yeah it becomes very flat so whenever you don't need it just put it somewhere now I'm gonna show you the picture that I took of silver and uh, I'm very excited to have a good memory of him so let's unveil this thing are you ready okay 
Look at that. That's my boy. He was actually in the last place, the last video that you saw. It was one of the coffees called La Café La, La Robles. He would look so nice over there. He was just joking around with the thumb. Really nice picture, right? Oh, so I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put it. Buster with the, my dog ashes. So yeah, that's where my dog's gonna be for now. And it's actually pretty cool that every time that I'm working, you can see his picture and remember the good times. People have been asking me if I'm gonna get another one, like maybe, but it's not the right time. It's gonna take time. But as I said, I would recommend you to travel with them. You're gonna have like lots of cool experience. If you do, like send me a picture, give me a comment here. I wanna see your adventures with your dog. And if you wanna be more prepared, I actually created a template on Notion that you can use. It has everything like the checklist, like the all the things that you gotta prepare before you travel. Just check the links down below and hopefully it will help you too. And yeah, that's how we're gonna wrap this video. Just give me a comment or a like if you like this video. And uh, unfortunately, we won't be more with Silver, but hope you stick for more videos with me. All right, see you in the next one, ciao. Thank you.